So if you're struggling with codependency, which is a desire to be liked by everyone, a fear of rejection by people, a fear of judgment, you know, we don't want to be judged. We don't want to do things where people may not like us. Um, if, if we have that craving of relationships and a craving of attention, if, if we have a fear in relationships of rocking the boat, we just want everyone happy. These are some examples of codependency. A craving of affection, a craving of acceptance, a fear of rejection, a fear of judgment. And in that kind of mindset, the codependent mindset, we can't be ourselves. We feel we're always trying to live up to other people's standards and we're not being honest. Do you know that codependency is probably by far the largest addiction in the world today? It's an addiction. About 50% of my practice in the world of helping people as a master life coach is in recovering from codependency. And I want to tell you right now that there's organizations out there that can help you, but I'm also going to give you some pointers to be careful of when you're involved in the healing of codependency. Hi, I'm David Essel. 20 years ago, I started working with people in addiction recovery, and over the years, I've seen some incredible benefits of 12-step groups like CODA or Al-Anon or many of the other groups that are out there that are here to help people to heal. And at the same time, I want to warn you that if you're going into CODA meetings or Al-Anon meetings and you're one of the individuals in the group talking about old stories, bringing up the past, if you're talking about how when you were dating this person or you were married to that person, how unfair it was, you're living in the past. If you're projecting blame on your partner currently today, you're still living in the past. You see, to break from codependency, we have to quit the storytelling. And unfortunately, but I do have faith that the 12-step groups will move ahead and take some of these tips that we're sharing with you today, because I'm not the only one that believes in this. Unfortunately, a lot of the work in the 12-step groups, Al-Anon, Coda, and more, were based for many, many, 50, 60, 70 years ago. We've learned so much over that time. We've got to get away from the past. We have to quit the storytelling in order to get clean and healthy today. So that's number one. Number two, when people wear a badge of honor, that I have been in a relationship for an al with an alcoholic for 20 years and I'm still there, that is not healthy. I don't care what anyone says. You know, I've attended these meetings before. I recommend my clients to go to CODA and al meetings, so I'm not anti-CODA, anti al -Anon. I'm anti some of the principles that are destroying the chances of recovery. When I had a client come in the other day, and this is like the hundredth client that said this, and she sat down and she said, you know, this woman was so brave. She stood up and talked about how for 30 years she sung in there, hung in there with her husband, who's emotionally abusive and mentally abusive as an alcoholic. And I was so proud of her, I sat and I cringed. I said, oh my Lord. And I went on to explain why that is not healthy. Someone who is truly healed from codependency would not go around uh, congratulating themselves and feeling proud that they've stayed with an addict or an alcoholic for 25 or 30 years. It's not sane. That's insane behavior. And hopefully through this video and all the work we do, we're going to get the messages out there. You know, and I'm not saying those people are bad. I'm just saying their behavior is insane. We're repeating the past. We're not healing at all. Absolutely, we're not healing. We're staying stuck. This is going to be abrasive to some people. This message some people are not going to want to hear. And I hope you'll be able to listen with an open heart as I say this one more time. If we feel proud that we've stayed in a relationship that is unhealthy, there's something really wrong with that equation. Contact me at talkdavid.com today. I would love to work with you to help you break out of the insanity and realize that there's a healthy path we can follow to move to the next level in life. And don't forget also our free book, The Power of Focus, at our website, talkdavid.com, will help you get focused to heal from any addiction, any challenge, any problem in any area of your life. Go to talkdavid.com right now and download in all kinds of versions, whatever you'd like to download it in, our free book, The Power of Focus. We're giving away a million copies. If you know other people that really want to benefit from a highly tuned machine when it comes to goal achievement, let them know about The Power of Focus too. I'm David Essel. Have a great day.